She uh, was a, a biographer before she wrote this, and um, perhaps that's why um, Harriet Tubman's family uh, went to her and asked her to write this book. And um, she, she uses her um, sort of literary license to set up scenes before she moves into Harriet Tubman's voice, which she uh, denotes with quotation marks. So I think that it would be uh, very clear to students where Bradford begins and where Tubman begins. Um, however, uh, again, we have to uh, rely on, on Bradford for the faithful rendition of Tubman's words. Those quotation marks are a good signal to us that this is what Tubman said. But we have to trust that Bradford wrote that down accurately. And we also have to kind of work our way through Bradford's attempt to render uh, what she viewed as uh, an African American dialect. So uh, that creates a problem, I think, in terms of uh, even within the quoted material, um, what did Bradford think she heard? What did Bradford write down? And what did Tubman actually say? Beside that sticking point, I think that it is very clear where Bradford um, comes in and where her voice is in this text. Now, um, Bradford is, is writing this first, um, this first edition in 1868. This is uh, a really raw moment in uh, American history. The Civil War has just concluded, and relations between blacks and whites, North and South, um, are um, by no means clear to anyone. And Radford is writing out of um, an understanding of black and white relations that places black people on a lower level of a civilization, of um, intelligence, of uh, attainment. And this comes out in the way that she writes about Harriet Tubman. She talks about Harriet Tubman's story as a little story. And she writes that she knows that some of the readers of this book will find it uh, uh, unbelievable that a black woman could be considered a heroine. So uh, Bradford's position as as the writer of this book um, is one that we need to question as we, as we read the text, even though there are clear demarcations between her voice and the quoted material from Tubman. Another way that Bradford's account of Harriet Tubman's life can be very useful in the classroom is um, as a window into the Underground Railroad and how it functioned. Harriet Tubman, after she freed herself, got involved with this network of people, an informal network of people, who were committed to helping uh, black slaves escape. Um, these were um, white people, black people, women, men, who um, sort of banded together in this common mission. And Bradford's account gives us uh, a little window into the different techniques that they would have used which is quite valuable because, of course, everything they did was supposed to have been secret to protect the escaped slaves um, from their former owners and from slave catchers. Another way in which this text can really be interesting, I think, in terms of thinking about Harriet Tubman's history and black women's history is that it shows Harriet Tubman as an intellectual. It places her within um, a rubric of black women's intellectual history, uh, the history of black women's thinking as it has changed over time. I don't think Tubman is often thought about as an intellectual, but she was, as I said earlier, a, a brilliant woman. She had to be to accomplish all that she did um, over the many years that she went back to the South to help uh, so many slaves escape. And we get uh, an inkling of her thoughts in Bradford's account. We wish for more, of course, and we wish Harry Tubman had written her own account. Um, but we do get a bit in Bradford's account. One example of that is that when Tubman is living in Philadelphia, uh, where she works to try to earn money to, to uh, fund her um, rescue missions, a group of people invite her to come see a stage production of Uncle Tom's Cabin. And she says that she will not go, that she has no need to go, because Uncle Tom's Cabin can in no way capture the reality of the experience of slavery, which she herself already knows. So this is a form of um, uh, cultural criticism. I mean, she is saying that uh, as popular as this novel was, uh, even though it was taking the country by storm, that as uh, a former slave, 
that she had a more accurate version of slavery than Harriet Beecher Stowe.